At this point, I'd like to take a few moments and talk about the differences between hard and symbolic based links. Now basically, a link in the Linux environment is a shortcut. It allows you to take less actions to reach a certain destination in the file system than you would if you actually navigated to the location. Now basically, we've got our hard and our symbolic links. A hard link basically represents the file in its entirety and allows you to perform most functions against a hard link that you would if you were accessing the actual file itself. Now the symbolic or soft links basically allow you to create a shortcut to a file or some type of openable or executable script or program for easy access. So in essence, a soft link is basically like a Windows shortcut whereas a hard link is almost a copy of the original file or folder but still points back to its original location. Now hard links specifically can be managed just about the same way as the actual file itself and in certain cases soft links or symbolic links can do the same. So let's take a look at creating and manipulating both hard and symbolic links. So we'll move over to our Linux operating system. And right now, we're back in the root directory. Now let's say, for example, I'm troubleshooting my X server configuration. Well, one of the files that I'm frequently going to be accessing is the x86 config file for the display settings. So what I might do is navigate to that in order to make the changes to it. Now that I'm there, I can actually see my XF86 config-4 file. So this particular file is the file that I'm going to be working with. Well, I don't always want to have to move to that directory. So instead, I'm going to go back to my home directory, and I'm going to create, first, a symbolic link. Now, one of the big tricks here is when using actual files you can use either symbolic or hard links. But if you're working with directories in most operating systems, you can only link to a folder or directory using a symbolic link. For example, we create our links using the ln command. Now by default, the ln command is going to create a hard link. So basically what we're going to do here is attempt to create a hard link to the actual 86 config file. So we'll simply type in create the link and we'll type our path out. Now we can take a look in our file system and as you can see here there's our configuration file link. If we wanted to access that link there you go. So as you can see, when opening it, it appears just like the file as if it were sitting in my home directory. Now let's go ahead and remove that. We can see that it's gone now. Let's say that there were actually several different configuration files that I'm going to be working with. Well, it might be a good idea instead to create a link just to the X11 directory. Well, it's going to give me an error code and say, you can't do that for an actual directory with the hard link. So instead, then, I would create a soft link using the dash S switch. And it actually lets me do that. If I go ahead and look at my directory listing here, you can see the X11 directory is listed there. And I can navigate to it just as if I was inside of the ETC directory. So there I am. We can look at a listing, and even though it feels as if we're looking inside the X11 directory, inside of the home directory for the root user, we're actually linking to the X11 directory inside the ETC directory in the root of the file system. So if we move back up, as you can see, it actually takes us to our home directory. And we can also remove that, just as we did before, 
So as you can see, it's pretty easy to work with these links. And creating those links can be extremely useful for you and make it dynamic so that you can access various components of the file system very quickly and easily.